We are the embodiment of latent dreams. Dreams so big we believe they are too big to even attempt. But we are attempting them now. We are afraid of failing. But our failures would only give our descendants greater lessons to leap from. The task now is to step forward, even though the path is not lit. Our feet can only feel the way forward if we take that first step. We must chart the unlit path and chart that path together. Just gotta listen to your heart. Since I was young, people kind of trained me to think my body belonged to them. It was very hard to love myself. I thought I was tainted, I thought I was gross. I thought I was ugly. I didn't know that I was sacred still. I thought I had lost that. If I don't fully love myself after all the rape and all the confusion and all the abuse that I suffered growing up, then how can I stand up tall and lead my people? I'm very grateful for the RN who's working with me and the MD to make sure that I don't harm myself during this fast. I'm pretty sure I won't, but I'm glad that we're monitoring my health. 47.3. All right. Oh. <laughs> 47.3. Yeah, you can dig in, Grandma. Don't wait for us. I'm thinking about how wonderful and sacred this last meal is going to be because it'll be the last one for seven days. Traditionally, we do not fast in public, but I think we're in extraordinary times and they call for extraordinary measures. And I wanted to use this fast as a public prayer only because it could get people together. It could get people thinking, and it could get people motivated. In the old way, the traditional indigenous governance way, the job of the leader was not to make decisions for people. The job of the leader was to collect the voices of the people and bring them out. We were messengers, nothing more. And so I hope and pray that on June 2nd, you will vote for me to be your messenger so that we can create change in this state. Wow, what a day. Day one is over. We had a really good day. About 60 people came to see the speeches and I'm already hungry and tired and it's only day one. <laughs> but I'm hoping that uh, the prayers will just build and build and build and I'll be more and more able to sustain this whole prayer. Back in the day when you were alive, you understood that seven generations backward, there was people planning for you. There was people thinking about you. And they had the love and, and the tenderness and the foresight to build a place for you. And so when you were a recipient of that love and that foresight and that sophistication, then naturally you wanted to give that to the next seven generations forward. Good morning, everyone. We're here at the Capitol on day two. It's supposed to start snowing very heavily around noon, but we are prepared because we have the warmth of these cozy things and the warmth of all your prayers. We need to practice planting seeds that will bear fruit that we will never taste. We need to practice loving things that we will never meet, people we will never see because we'll be long gone. We need to have that kind of mentality. And that is exactly what I intend to do as your representative. Right now, all the different colors of humanity need to come together for the hoop to be whole. All of us need to come together to live out the truth that we are an interdependent system. And until we see each other eye to eye, until we see the beauty and the sanctity in every single person, regardless of their skin color, 
regardless of their culture, we will not live out the dream that Creator intended for us to live. So where are we going? Then? I'm going to the Richard Eads Show, which is a local radio station that a lot of people seem to listen to. And we're going to talk about the fast on the fifth day. Not normal going to do a radio interview during a seven-day fast, but that's what we're doing. Capital will break the fast on Sunday at 12.15. You are all invited. Why did you decide to do this? I mean, was it just to seek attention? Is that the issue? No, it's to pray for the next seven generations to come because in my culture, we fast to pray. I'm reminded day in and day out what I'm living for, what I'm working for. And I also think it's important for voters to know who they're voting for. This isn't something I do just for the election. This is something I do every year. And so I think it's good that we let people know that I'm a person of tenacity, that I'm a person of persistence, and that I'm a person of integrity, and that I'm a person who cares greatly about the future of our planet. Um, actually, even though he's very um, interesting, I really enjoy it. I've learned that politics is a dirty, dirty game. And I thought I could just come in with my pure heart and just manage it. But man, I, I don't know. I mean, I still think I can. And I don't know why I'm shocked at how low they're getting. And these are people that have watched every single YouTube video I've ever published. They scour everything you've ever done. So they know who I am. And yet they choose to pick this one thing and take it out of context and try and destroy my reputation so this guy can remain, in my opinion, in power. And uh, that's the part that, wow, there's a lot of people here. That's the part that boggles my mind is that, you know, they know who I am and what I stand for and they still want to see me crash and burn. Democracy originally meant that the people would lead and the people would make choices and decisions together. I really believe in the quote unquote everyday person. I really believe in quote unquote ordinary people. All of us have experience. All of us have understanding. All of us have expertise in our own life. And that expertise is what we want to tap into to build out these solutions. The youth all around the world, they're grabbing us by the collar and they're saying, hey, maybe you gave up on climate, but we have not. And we need you to help us. That's very beautiful to me, the, the young people telling us to get back up and try. Business as usual has failed us and will continue to fail us. And so we, the people, need to stand up and take these leadership positions back. I feel like the fast cleanses your body, but I think I've passed that threshold of cleansing and I'm now in the space where it's just hurting my body. Good morning, everyone. It is day seven and we made it and you helped me and thank you so much. We're almost there. My body is starting to eat its own muscle mass and I'm so grateful I get to eat today. To me, being a future ancestor means you think far into the future. My name will be forgotten just like everyone else's. What I care about is the way that my actions echo through time. Every hero is forgotten. Every rock star goes out of trendiness. It's the effect of our actions that lives on. Like a butterfly wing can affect things around the world. And I think that healing women is a big part of healing the whole earth because when the women are whole, then the families are whole. And when the women love themselves, they can lead more efficiently. And when the women lead, life is put at the center. And so it's all related, healing of self and healing of the whole. Myself. I'm just trying to love myself. You 
can't drag me down Feet on the ground, but I'm so high up You can't block my light Stop my shyness, glow time, y'all If your heart broke, if your scars show If you're going through it, but you're still shining Keep your head high If you are low in the charcoal, but you're still a diamond, yeah